Welcome to another edition of Randy's Nuclear Lab. I believe this is episode 8. So, per the trailer that I just uh, posted, these are the two individual packages that were inside the Amazon bags. The one on the left says Top Speed RC World, and the one on the right says Orgone are mastercrafted using the highest quality natural stone resin, not plastic. Hmm. Let me guess which one is supposed to be radioactive. I actually have no idea what this is, but considering that it's coming from Top Speed RC World, it is probably an RC car part. Let's see what we have here. If I can get it out of the package. Geez, really stuck in there. And there we go. Yeah, that looks like some RC car parts. So hopefully that is not what is supposed to be radioactive. So that brings me to this little gadget. So this is supposed to be another health pendant from eBay. I'm sorry, Amazon. So let's open it up. Looks pretty interesting. It's got a nice little fake green glow to it. And it is encased in plastic. Sure looks pretty interesting, but as you can see when I turn my sound on here. Uh, there we go. Get the sound turned on and hold this up to my... Uh, Borg Plus LND 7317 Geiger counter. It doesn't seem to detect much of anything. A little bit higher, but 28 counts per minute with this detector in my lab isn't too bad. Oh, it's going up to 60, but then back down to 48. So probably just normal background radiation for my lab. So what the hell did I just buy? I have no idea, but reading the little card that came with it, it sure looks pretty interesting. This says, uh, use for Kachara tune-ups, astral travel, and remote viewing, whatever the hell that is. Past life exploration, vivid dreams, dream healing, space, land, clearing, physical healing, self-help, self-healing, self-discovery, high vibes, meditation tools, the original Organite Artesian. Offering never-ending healing seasons. Wow. Sessions. Wow. So I have no idea what the heck this is, but unfortunately, it doesn't look radioactive. How disappointing. So aside from the pretty interesting looking pendant, there's a little hippie looking carry bag and... A pretty interesting looking star studded bag that is, oh, it contains a little crystal. I wonder if that is radioactive. I'll have to break out the bad boy Tech Plus Atomic Dave Geiger counter to see. All right, I got out the bad boy, the biggest, most sensitive Geiger counter that I have that is not a scintillator. This is the Atomic Dave K91, uh, and it has a very sensitive pancake radiation detector tube. So first, we'll put this interesting little crystal on here, see if that does anything. I wouldn't think that it would. Turn on the UV light. It definitely does not bioluminesce. So I don't think that is spicy at all, unfortunately. So now I'll put this magical pendant that has all kinds of crazy quackery claims and put it right on the detector. It is going up actually, but nothing too exciting or concerning. It's dropping back down to 156, which with this detector in my lab is anywhere between 70 and 150 counts per minute. And that's pretty much what it's doing now. So unfortunately, this pendant does not look to be radioactive. Again, how disappointing. 
So after using pretty much every Geiger counter I own on this cool looking pendant, it does not appear to be radioactive. However, when exposing it to UV light, so you can see the very center of the pendant does slightly glow. You can kind of see it going from green, which is just the color of the uh, plastic that it's encased in, to that little blue, which to me indicates that this is a copper carbonate material. So more research is required. So after doing a couple quick Google searches, yeah, it looks like this is malachite, which is copper carbonate hydrox hydroxide mineral. Uh, very similar to uh, copper as well. It does appear to be mostly non-toxic, but certainly not radioactive. Apparently, if you inhale the dust when the material is being handled, that could potentially be toxic to the body as a form of copper overdose. But aside from that, unfortunately, it does seem to be completely safe. So there you go. Uh, a quack product from Amazon that is not radioactive. Interesting. Well, there you go. Looks like I did get ripped off. I was told uh, from a Facebook forum, of course, you can always believe what you read on Facebook, that this device was radioactive. Unfortunately, it does not appear to be so. So I guess not every medical quackery device on Amazon is radioactive. But just so I don't disappoint all three of my fans of Randy's Nuclear Lab, uh, I will bring out something that is radioactive, and this is my radioactive materials test card. Putting that right on the Geiger counter, as you can see, it kind of goes nuts. And as soon as the counter catches up, it goes into alarm, 5,700 counts per minute, uh, 5,742, probably will stabilize right about there. Ironically, I got this from United Nuclear several years ago, and it's still just as radioactive as it is today but it doesn't list what the radioactive element is. It just says it is a radioactive element used to test Geiger counters. So one of these days I'll have to run it through a full scintillation test to see what elements it is emitting. So with that, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, more to come next time. And where the fuck is my remote? There it is.